like Roth. Roth then. Yeah, Roth. I, He's I, the older gentleman. Yeah, I was just waiting um, to see which they one made it. Find. It seemed like they had made it a point that he was Jewish because it's the only time they really make any kind of um, reference to Judaism because you know they when they sit down you know uh, they do you know the lachaim and 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 go with God and he mentions the book which I'm guessing he's talking about the Torah and shit like that so I assumed there was a Jewish connection here but there isn't I think they just made him Jewish and maybe there is more to it maybe in the book there's there's more you know in in, in the original book I don't know because. Um, Sometimes a person's religion is just in passing in a movie, but I, because of what this movie represents and the fact that he was the only overtly showing everybody, I am a Jewish person because I am um, doing uh, this or I'm doing that. I thought there is a Jewish connection. Nope. Next thing we know, we're, we're, we're in the church and now we're talking about Christianity because like Alma said, we're talking about this priest and I found this article. And um, so uh -huh. uh, let me see if I can uh, real quick. I, this is a, um, it's from the Library of Anglo-American Culture and History. It's called uh, Religion and Soylent Green, um, blah, 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 more and more and more. Um, and I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling. Okay. Um, so it's talking about this specifically. I'm going to read it directly from here and I'll, and I'll, uh, I'll link it in this. And I know this is, I know that this is a Patreon, but I just, I just find this really interesting. I used to do this with our, our other episodes, but okay. So another instance of Christianity is the church personnel represented by an African American priest named Paul, the very engagé clergyman heads the church's charitable activities and becomes intertwined with Thorne's investigation when the Soylent Green manager, William Sim Simonson, confesses that his company's products are not harvested from the ocean, as the public is told, but in truth are made from the dead. With the priest gaining the same knowledge as Simonson, and later on Solomon and Thorne, the church joins the small group of people who know the secrets of Soylent Green. Because of this entanglement via its very own practice of confession, the church is forced to react. Upon learning about the production of Soylent food, the church neither takes the initiative like Thorn, nor is it forced into resignation like Solomon. The church's resolution is to continue its service to the poor and sick, although it is questionable whether the priest will be able to fulfill his duties effectively in the future. This reaction is bound to be compared with that of other characters as the viewer's attention turns towards the moral assessment of different ways of dealing with the most appalling truth that in the words of, of Robert Thorne, Soil and cream is people. <laughs> and then there's a lots of Christian rites and traditions that are, are scattered throughout the entire movie. But um, I thought that this paragraph really succinctly and very nicely put it forth because it's true. You see people's different reactions of how either um, they are forced to deal with things, how their own uh, uh, ethics or their own moral compasses make them react. Like Simonson, he was like, fuck, really? <laughs> this is people? And then you have someone like in, in this priest who is, it, this reality has fucked him up. However, he still, because of his belief system, his ideology, he still wants to continue helping the sick and the poor, which is basically everybody. <laughs> um, so instead of like, you know, ringing the bell, but also exactly, keeping that exactly. confession. Mm -hmm. But also keeping that So it's that really confession. interesting. He even asked, is it really dead, dead? He thought about repeating mm -hmm. what he had been told for a second. Yeah. But didn't. Mm -hmm. He didn't. Because he still hold, held that that vow mm -hmm. of, um, you know, what's it called? Secrecy or silence? Or, you yeah, know, he holds uh, yeah. that confession because that mm -hmm. man gave it to him. <clears throat> so it is, it, it's just a sad a reality that he's living, but he's still going on, going on with this, uh, just the way